I'm starting out with my base and I'm just using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. Then I'm taking the Tarte Radiance of the Sea Radiance Drops, I think they're called. I'm just placing a drop on each portion of my face and then massaging it into my skin to give a nice radiance, obviously. Um, and then going in with foundation, I'm mixing Too Faced Born This Way with some of the strobing drops from Astralis in the shade Gold. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender just to press this all over my skin. Then to cream contour, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Cream Contouring Kit and it's in the shade medium to dark I believe and I'm just using this angled skinny little Sigma brush to basically apply it where I want it um, which is my cheekbones, around my hairline, my temple, down my nose and underneath my bottom lip to make it look poutier and then I'm just taking an FO5 brush and buffing it all out. Then I'm using the Astralis strobing drops once again and I'm just placing them on the tops of my cheekbones above my cupid's bow and down my nose and then I'm just using my beauty blender again just to press that into the skin and these just give a really nice radiance to the skin and kind of like a base for your powder highlight. Then for the eyes I'm taking Sigma Persuade Eye Base which you guys know I've been loving and I'm just applying that all over the lid and underneath the eyes. Then for the first shade, I'm using Makeup Geek Mirage and I'm just setting my entire eyelids with that basically. And then I'm going in with Peach Smoothie and using this as a transitional shade. I also forgot I wanted to do some tape on the sides of my eyes, which not sure how I forgot because I do that like in every video, but I applied some tape and then continued on with Peach Smoothie. Then I'm taking Frappe which is a beautiful like brown, I love this shade and I'm just using the same E40 brush and buffing this into the crease and along the outer corner. Then I'm taking the shade Desert Sands which is a kind of like caramelly camel colour and I'm just doing the same kind of thing, just building up the shades and kind of the dimension. Then I'm taking the shade Americano and I am buffing this into the outer V. I'm using an E25 brush which is a lot more precise than the E40. So as you can see it just helps to build up the colour in the outer corner and then I can bring the rest of the shade through the crease. Then going in with Cherry Cola it is like a beautiful like reddish brown and I'm just doing the same kind of thing just buffing it into the outer corner and then dragging it through the crease. Then I'm going back in with Mirage just to make sure that my browns aren't too close to my eyebrows so I'm just using it kind of as a brow bone highlight but also um, to kind of like blend everything out. And then I do go back in with the E40 just to make sure my edges were blended. Then going into the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette, I'm taking this beautiful golden champagne colour and I actually dipped my brush into some of the radiance drops just to intensify the shadow a little bit. But I do find these shadows work a lot better with your finger, which you will see I ended up picking some up on my finger and just pressing it into the lid. Then I'm just taking my E25 with no additional product on it and just making sure that the edges are really seamlessly blended. Then I'm picking up Frappe once again and I'm using an E44 brush just to diffuse the crease a little bit more but also add a little bit more of that shade. And then I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is a matte black and I'm using the same brush, the E44 and I'm just starting to buff this into the outer corner. I just felt like it didn't have enough dim like depth to the look so I just added that into the outer corner and blended it out. And then I'm just applying a winged liner with some black gel liner. I've come to the realisation I much prefer liquid liner but yeah, the wing turned out okay. Then I'm just tight lining using a Models Prefer black eyeliner pencil and then I'm just curling my lashes and applying a coat of Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Then for falsies I'm taking these Huda Beauty lashes, they're in the style Samantha number 7. 
they're very wispy and kind of natural but I really like them so I'm just applying those to my eyes and then using a little lash tool from Klepke Lashes and I'm just pinching my natural lashes with the falsies. Then I'm moving back onto the skin and I'm taking this new Benefit. It's kind of like a corrective concealer. It's a very peachy shade and I'm just buffing this underneath my eyes to counteract any dark purple tones. And then I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and just drawing lines all over my face basically. I always put concealer down the center of my face as well as my under eyes just because I feel like it balances out the highlight and yeah I'm just using my beauty blender again to blend this all out then I'm going in with the new benefit industrial strength concealer and I'm just using that on any blemishes and red spots over my chin then to set everything in place, I'm using the It Cosmetics CC powder and it's in the shade Fair, the one I'm using, and I'm just setting my under eyes and down the center of my face with a smaller brush and then I moved on to a bigger brush just to set the rest of my face. Then for bronzer and contouring, I'm using Benefit Hula and I'm just using an F40 brush which is like a large angled brush and I'm just putting that on my cheekbones, underneath my jawbone, um, and around my hairline and my temples, just all of those kinds of areas. Then for blush, I'm taking NARS Deep Throat Blush, and I'm using an F37 brush just to apply this to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm taking Moonstone from the Anastasia Sun Dipped Kit Palette. What's it called? Um, and this highlight is very, very, very bright as you can see. I'm using an F35 brush to apply it to all of the high points of my face. And then to set my face, I'm using the Algenist Splash Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray. And then moving on to the under eyes, I'm taking Frappe first of all on an E25 brush and I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line. And then going in with Americano and just doing the same thing but keeping it a little bit closer to the outer corner. Then I'm going in with Corrupt which is the black and I'm just using a little angled brush just to outline my lash line to make it look a little bit more defined and then going in with a brown pencil in the lower waterline and applying some lower lash mascara. Then to highlight the inner corners, I'm taking the white shimmery shade from the Tarte palette and I'm just using an inner corner brush just to highlight the inner corners. And then going in with the glitter, I just used some craft glitter that I got at a craft store. It's really chunky so you just want to be careful not to get it in your eyeballs because that will cut your eye and you do not want that. So I'm just using some glitter adhesive and then applying the glitter underneath my eyes. And then for lips, I'm lining them and filling them in completely with Kat Von D Lolita Lip Liner. And then to finish it off, I'm taking the Tarte Color Splash lipstick in the shade Beach Babe, which is my all-time favorite nude. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.